All right, guys, moving on to our next story. We have a special guest on this portion of Keikaku Corner. Hello, Anthony Toto. Hey, what's up? We have a video of Anthony Toto, something we did not have of Melissa, sadly, but we have video of you. And if there's some, if anything goes wrong during the recording process, don't worry. I'll put up a funny picture if something goes wrong. But I do yeah. think that we have, I think that we have you. So we're good. So Anthony, hi. If you don't know Anthony, by the way, Anthony is actually working with us on our Those Guys Play YouTube channel, where we do a lot of fun gaming content. And also, Anthony has been involved uh, on our Those Guys on the Radio YouTube channel. And it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. And because Tristan is currently, as we have talked about before, uh, he's currently on the moon looking for dinosaur bones. And by the way, Anthony, as his best friend, you can corroborate that, right? Yes, he, he, is, he, is, he is doing. He's he is, doing he is just digging that. for bones. Bones in on the moon. On the moon. That is factually accurate. So, uh, but you and I are here to talk about Avatar: The Last Airbender. Yes. Apparently, there was news. There was news, everybody. Good, <laughs> good news, everyone? Question mark. There was news yeah. of an Avatar: The Last Airbender live action show mm -hmm. coming to Netflix. So, Anthony Toto, as someone who is such a huge fan of Avatar The Last Airbender, some of your profile pictures in the past have been Avatar related. Yes. The yes. question the question needs to be asked. Uh, from one to from one to ten, how badly is this gonna be fucked up? How how badly is this fucked? Um you, or are you optimistic? On a scale of one to ten. Yes. Uh, I wanna go with maybe a four or five okay that's actually you which know what is, i gotta say which yeah, i want because because it's because uh, it's kind of generous i would i would it is no for in compared to internet internet vitriol standards that mm -hmm. is super generous yeah. going for four or five is super honestly here's the thing right i think that netflix has a great track record actually to be 100 percent real with you i haven't I, I yes, I've heard of some shows on Netflix performing, not you know, not really being as well loved as something like Stranger Things, mm -hmm. but very rarely do I hear someone say that Netflix TV show was complete and utter trash. Even though, and even if I do, then there's other people who go, oh, no, actually, I kind of like that show. So it's always kind of a mixed bag for me. I never really know, like, oh, is this complete utter trash or is it not? Right? I have to check it out myself. Something like Stranger Things was amazing. Um, even some of the live action movies that I haven't necessarily may have enjoyed. Uh, I'm talking about like adaptations, like the Full Metal Alchemist one. Yeah. I was mixed with that. Tristan and I talked about that on this channel, on those guys on the radio. I was a little mixed with that one. Uh, the Bleach live action movie is coming to Netflix as well. Or actually, I think by the time this video is out, it's already on Netflix, I believe. Um, now, granted, Bleach and Film and Alchemist weren't necessarily funded by Netflix. But still, yeah, I... right? Still, mm -hmm. they, they do exist. So... I, I think, and tell me how you feel about this, Anthony. I think my problem is is that there was already such a good adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender, and it was actually the animated version that was also a TV show. So I don't really see why it even needs to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, how do you feel? That's, that's the thing. Uh, mm -hmm. My initial reaction to it was the same reaction that a lot of people had to it, which was... Mm -hmm what yeah <laughs> like i was i was because when i found out i was sitting uh uh i was at work on break and i was with my friend at work and we 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 were looking at our phones and we saw it at the mm -hmm. same time and we were just like eh? what Nani? yeah like a collective what what yeah yeah because uh. <laughs> and another thing too i would like to mention as well and here's something i, I would like to be very fair if this were the case, if this were a show that came out 30 years ago, I think there's room for a retelling when something has been gone that long. But even though I consistently say that I'm not old, and I say that over and over as if the hands of time will stop just for me. Yeah, neither uh, am I. <laughs> right, neither, not, and we're both the same age. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. Uh, even though we're not that old, we're only 26, I still truly, though, believe, all jokes aside, that this property isn't old enough to warrant... A live action reboot just yet if we were in the late 2020s i'd get it actually i would but this property is only 10 years old if we're uh, referring to the original um avatar the last airbender that's not old enough to warrant a live action version in my opinion 
Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Yes. Like, also, if the show was episodic and didn't have an overarching or an overarching story, I would get it. If, like, like if a show like He-Man, if they were like, if someone was like, you know what, we should make another live-action He-Man, but not as a movie, as a TV series, I'd be like, oh, that might be very interesting, actually. You know, Power Rangers is still successful. Mm -hmm. uh, Kamen Rider has been successful in Japan. People, you know, people are loving some of the other reboots that are coming out and stuff like that. I'd be interested in, like, a live-action version, a TV show of, like, um, not only of He-Man, but even something like Flash Gordon, right? Because Flash Gordon is a series that hasn't been touched for years, Right? For literally 30 years, I'm pretty sure, right? The Flash Gordon hasn't been touched since, like, the 80s, right? Mm-hmm. I, I think. Am I wrong? I, I think. I, I'm actually okay. not sure. Okay, but. that's cool. No, that's cool. But I'm just saying that it's been a while for Flash Gordon as well. So what I'm getting at here, though, guys, is, like, you also, you also have to wait a while because I don't think this is going to bring in the teens that loved Avatar at the time. I don't think their 20-something selves are like, oh, girl, oh, good joy. Yeah, no, that's yeah. not the yeah. that's not the consensus at all. And no. um, and then I, I was talking to another friend, and she said, "But nobody asked for this." And exactly. I was like, "That's that's a good point." Like, I this is just my personal experience. I have never had anyone said to me, "You know what this this would be a great like I I want a live action version of of, of this." Uh, of anything, yeah. uh, and I mean, people pr uh, probably have said that, but I personally have never heard anyone say to me, "You know, this animated thing would make a great live action." Because, like, um, I th well, I mean, here's the thing: it ha when it's when it's comic books, I think it does make sense. Even with manga, to a certain degree, oh, yeah. I don't think there's oh, yeah. problems. I think the issue is for me. When something is an animated, regardless of where it's from, you want to say, you know, anime uh, in Japan or, you know, U.S. animated show or, you know, Korea, wherever it's being animated in. If you want to say that, uh, you know, that show should be adapted in some way, normally it gets adapted into a movie. Because even though there's been some issues with some of those movies, the point is, is that it, even though it's hard to do, it's mm -hmm. a lot easier, I think, to me to, to try to say, here's a different form of the media that you enjoy. We're taking it, we're condensing it in some ways, and let's see how it works. Versus, let's take the television show that you liked that was animated, mm -hmm. and let's make a live-action version of it. It's just like, yeah. but and it's Why? It was already good and when it was animated. Another thing Why? is another thing is that it will probably have to be condensed in some way because there is a lot there is a lot of episodes and a lot of things that happen mm. and will you well, be able to fit all that in, into a live action? I don't I don't I really mean, know. Think of it like this. Instead of 21 minute 20 episode seasons they would probably be one season for that's forty five minutes to fifty minutes long per episode, yeah. and there'll be thirteen episodes. But there I'm will saying, have to like, be condensing, but it won't be too bad. Yeah, it I won't mean, be. Too, you'll get rid of some of the fillery stuff. Mm -hmm. I I don't think it would be too bad. My also another issue that I would have is if Netflix thinks of it as a grimy, grim darky interpretation. And we don't have the love and the joy and the fun that we had with the original Avatar. Oh, something, that's what something also worth pointing out is that the original two writers are writing it. Okay, right. Thank you for reminding me and, about that. And I, think, think, yes. and I think the composer is also... Mm -hmm. The original composer who wrote the music is so, is involved as, as well. So then here's and, the question. So it becomes... So here's the thing, Anthony. So I'm sorry to interrupt you. I just have to say. Mm -hmm. So then it turns into... Wait. Are we just fucking getting a shot-for-shot shot remake minus a few scenes? Because we already had the show that still stands up, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But anyway, please continue. With oh, uh, and I agree with that. Uh, yeah. But, um, but it just yeah. doesn't make sense. Uh, I, I don't know. Like, I just, I'm still, I'm still conflicted on, on, on what to think about it because. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna say, because a lot of, because people are saying, oh, it's automatically gonna suck. And that's not exactly my stance. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm open to the possibility that it might be good, and that it, the fact that it has the two original writers, um, doesn't it's lessen. It's promising. It's promising, but it, it, it doesn't diminish my fear about it, because I am terrified. Like, I'm, I'm. I'm terrified, mm -hmm. but 
but uh, um, it's I have a sl I have slight hope learning mm. that bit of information. I yes, don't know. And, and thank you for telling me that that had slipped my mind. I'll say this much though, even though my concerns are my concerns are actually put at ease. I'm not scared when I learn that. But the question becomes: so mm -hmm. even though this is art. And art is a wonderful thing. We still have to look at it in the context of a business because Netflix is a business. This is yeah. a show that's, you know, money is involved here. A lot of money is involved. Uh, so we do have to look at it from that perspective. Now, why am I bringing that up? Because of the fact that when a business comes in with, a, with any product of any kind, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be a solution, right? So Anthony says... Oh, no, Matt, I constantly slip in the shower. And I go, well, don't worry, Anthony, I've made this rubber mat. You know what I'm saying? Like, you won't slip in the shower. <laughs> but, Matt, I slip while walking. Well, then how about maybe this on the go will help you during icy roads? You go, no, Matt, I'm just really clumsy. <laughs> well, God damn it, I can't help you. <laughs> Learn how to walk. And this has so, become uh, Matt sells things to me. <laughs> no, but that's, how, but that's how a product, that's how it's supposed to work. So yeah. someone says, I want, so here's the thing, right? Uh, Tristan and I talked about this two episodes ago. Mm -hmm. People want the new people want new Teen Titans. Not new Teen Titans go necessarily, but they want the original Teen Titans to come back. Mm -hmm. So there's a good chance that the new that uh, old Teen Titans will be coming back for a new season. I don't know if DC actually confirmed it officially, but there was a teaser at the end of the Teen Titans Go movie that came out in theaters. And so people were saying, wait, is that going to be on DC's new streaming yeah, service? That, yeah. The same way that the Clone Wars, people really wanted more Clone Wars. So now the Clone Wars TV show is coming out on Disney's new streaming service. There was a demand for it and they gave you it. Mm -hmm. So have people, like, are there people out there en masse? I'm sure there are some, but there are people out there en masse that are like, you better give me, and not in Clone Wars, just in general, you better give me more Jar Jar Binks now. No! So if Disney said, we're making an exclusive <laughs> Jar Jar Binks uh, threequel, a trilogy, live action, just Jar Jar Binks, I'd be like, wow, that's a super easy way to tank a franchise. <laughs> because people aren't asking for that en masse. Maybe a fun little comic book, a four-issue run, right? But no one is asking for... A, a stretch of movies that will cost almost a billion dollars to make each, all centering around Jar Jar Binks. No well, one's asking for that. Now, am I comparing Jar Jar Binks to Avatar? No. Do not fillet me in the comments down below. I'm just saying... <laughs> People are like, how <laughs> dare you? Immediately clacking and typing away. Tristan no. wouldn't argue with a Jar Jar show, I don't think. He would not. He would not. <laughs> uh, but again, he also is not saying that he wants a trilogy, though. That's like a trilogy of films that cost a billion dollars each. Mm -hmm. He would not be a fan of that, I think, I would imagine. But my point, though, is, is that you have to, be, you have to answer, fan, not even fan demands, just demands in general. Someone mm -hmm. says, I have a problem. You, as a company, say, I have a solution. In this case, there weren't people saying, I have a problem. There's no live-action Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> like, no one said that. In um, fact, you know what people have said, Anthony? They've said, Anthony, I have a problem. What is it? There is a live-action Avatar <laughs> The Last Airbender. That's what people have said. No one, no one is... You see what I mean, like, though, right? That's like saying, you know, yeah. you know Matt, I've slipped in the shower... And, and and have you and, tried and, a flamethrower? And then you, and then you <laughs> saying, "Well, did you try putting a banana peel in your shower?" Yeah, exactly. Uh, because and that, but but you don't know. No, here's the thing, right? That's the. But here's the thing, though. It wouldn't even be like that because it's like you saying, "Hey, Matt," and I'm like, "Are you having problems slipping in the shower?" And you're like, "No." Well, here's a mat, but I I don't need the mat, Matt. Matt, I don't. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that joke earlier. Matt, I don't um, need a Matt. Matt, <laughs> come on, Matt. Uh, so, yeah, but that's mm -hmm. the thing, though. So this isn't something that people have been demanding, and so it's a little strange that a lot of money would be put into this. Now, what Netflix should have done, so people might be asking, well, Matt, you're the smart guy here, which, I mean, oh, guilty yeah. as charged. Of course. Uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> Matt, everyone cares about what you think on the Internet. What should Netflix have done? Netflix should have uh, looked at... Uh, Di uh, not Disney, should have looked at Nickelodeon. I think Viacom owns them. And if Nickelodeon slash Viacom is that 
is that foolhardy with the rights to Avatar? They're like, look, we really don't fucking care. We don't even want them anymore. Netflix should have bought those rights, secured global rights to streaming all of Avatar The Last Airbender, both the original and Legend of Korra, and then if the creators want to make a new Avatar, then they would secure those rights and you'd have a new animated Avatar coming to Netflix in 2019-2020. Why? Because currently we have DC and we have um, uh, Disney securing their own, like securing the rights to certain things for their own streaming services and also trying to make new shows just for their streaming services. So to compete with those, Netflix should be like, all right, we need more US animation. Netflix is going for anime, no doubt about it, but I don't think that a live action adaptation of Avatar is where they're going to get people in, you know? That's just yeah. that's just my take on it. I mean, even looking at uh, Amazon, I believe Amazon they were the ones that secured the rights to live action Lord of the Rings, uh, a TV show adaptation. But that adaptation is a TV show versus movies, so you can expand more on the universe. And I thought that they weren't even going to retread what was done in the movies, from what I remember hearing on and off. So it could be a brand new story just based in that universe, based off of movies that. Again, they were big budget, but they were still movies. When you go from movie to TV show, I think it's even better to expand and talk about what you know what's going on in the universe and everything like that. So if Avatar started off as animated Nickelodeon movies that were really good, but they were movies only, then I'd be like, oh shit, yeah, give it a live action TV show, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but that's not what's going on here, at all. And to me, that's what's frustrating, you know, is that that's not what's going on here. It was already a good enough TV show. This is a problem that didn't exist. Mm -hmm. And now people are going to watch it. I'm not saying anyone's going to suffer. It's not like it's going to take away if someone really liked the no, original. And, you and, know? I'm, and I'm going to yeah. watch it. Yeah, I'm going to give it a fair shot. Because, you know, a fair shake. because it's Avatar and it's, you know... Yeah. I'm, I, I'm going to watch it. But Yeah, yeah. We shouldn't have to shit on it. We're not shitting on it necessarily. This could no. be the best show ever made in live action form. This could okay. be the best adaptation ever I, made. I the best adaptation. <laughs> I wouldn't wait, go that wait, far. Are but. there better adaptations for animated anything from U.S. or Japan? If this is the best, if it's mm -hmm. even th there's been a lot of crap that has come out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, even even though you've had very controversial opinions about the Super Mario Brothers movie, you can't say it's <laughs> accurate. You can't say it's accurate though. Oh no, you I see don't, what I mean? and I don't mean to. Yes, but if this is so accurate and it's done in a good way and they condense things the right way, this could be one of the best live-action adaptations ever for a cartoon. Uh, not like a comic book, but like for a cartoon or for an anime even. Yeah, but again, the but question is... I'm not is, expecting that, though. Well, the thing is, I'm not expecting it either, but the question is, even if it is, who asked for it? That's the thing. We should really be looking at this as, who asked for this? This is a lot of money to be dumping into something that I've never personally... And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys in the comment section down below that are listening in, watching us, you could tell us, no, I really wanted this from the get-go. Yeah. That's cool, right? But We're not trying to shit on you for wanting it. I think going to say that. I, well, there has to be one, but I don't well, think yeah. it's it's I don't think it's enough people that would justify Netflix putting this out and having people keeping their subscriptions, watching watching the show, or at the very least buying more subscriptions that month just so that they can watch it. I don't think that'll be happening. I, I'm not saying that because here's the thing: I know that you and I want to give this a chance, but I feel like a lot of the public uh, who again loved the show as a kid are like too soon, man, too soon. It's not long enough to yeah. potentially have new... Fa like, I don't know. And also, again, there's nothing about the art style that, to me, comes off as heinous. You know, where it's like, oh, it's 30 years old, it's 40 years old, it's 50 years old. It's literally just 10 years old. Mm -hmm. You know? And Legend of Korra, I would argue, used a similar art style in HD, and it looked just fine. Yeah. So... But, and hmm. and, I, and there's, there's a lot of things that they could have done that would yeah. have made people happier like yeah. New give animated us another show. give us another animated series about yeah. the next the next avatars get, like give us you know more stuff like ex expand on the universe in in other ways i think yes. that people would be like thrilled if if there was a like a new like series you know at, after core and stuff like that i know that there there's going to be books about avatar kiyoshi mhm mm 
they're, so, uh, yeah, they, they've announced books, that. And, and, yeah, and, and, books, and comic books that. as well. Yeah. So Netflix wouldn't be involved in that. But I still think that, yeah, it definitely is a, is a big issue uh, that... It's just not something people were even looking forward to in the first place. So yeah, no, I think I think and we can I would leave never it there. have thought of it. I just yes, yeah, uh, uh, exactly. And I and I think I think it's the just what. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just trying to milk something that was a big property and yeah. thinking that if you know it's trying to apply something like mm -hmm. this, this formula to something that didn't need it. Like, oh, this has worked, this has worked, but it doesn't mean that it's always going to work. Especially the fact that, again, it's only been 10 years. Maybe a little over. Maybe a little yeah. over 10 years. Actually, probably a little over 10 years. And but it's still not long enough, in my opinion, to be like, oh, yeah, you know, I have kids. You know, if I was watching it at the time. You see <laughs> what I'm saying? No, what I'm saying, yeah. like, because the thing is, the idea is, you would hope, as, as someone, you know, making this show, you maybe would hope that people are now old enough to watch it with their kids, perhaps. But again, it's kind of like, I don't think, it's not a 30-year difference. Like Transformers, right? Those movies, it was like a, literally a full 20-some-odd year difference between when the first Transformers movie came out and the original show came out in the 80s. Same thing with something like Ninja Turtles, even though there was always a, you know, a cartoon or something. Same thing with Ninja Turtles as well. It's not the case with this show, though. And I think that's going to hurt it in the end. But either way, we'd love to hear what you guys say in the comment section down below. Tell us what you think.